In the latest update of DaVinci Resolve Studio beta version, you now have the ability to create transcripts. And you can actually use these transcripts to edit, which is super cool. I'm gonna show you that in a second. If you're new here, I'm Ali, and Will and I release weekly videos all about videography, editing, as well as gear reviews. And I'm almost done working on a tutorial teaching beginners how to use nodes. If you are newish to DaVinci, this is probably a great tutorial for you. So if you wanna stay in the loop and see that when it comes out, subscribe to our channel. Now let's hop into Resolve and get started. So we're in DaVinci Resolve's cut page, and I have this talking head clip here that I'd like to transcribe and do some other cool stuff with. So let's right click and choose transcribe audio. It's gonna take a minute to analyze the audio and transcribe it. Okay, so it's done now, but I can't see my transcription box that is supposed to pop up. So I'm just gonna change the view and click this source clip button here. And here we go, we have our entire talking head clip transcribed with paragraphs, punctuation, words are capitalized. DaVinci's done a pretty great job. If you wanna increase the font size, you can go up here and click on this A plus to do so. Decrease the font size by choosing the A minus. You can click this circle if you find it easier to view your text with a white background. And you can either press the spacebar on your keyboard to start playing this through, or you can press the play button right here. In the latest update of DaVinci Resolve Studio, we finally have gotten and as this plays through, you can see exactly where you are in the transcript box. So let's say you wanna search for a specific word. You can click on the magnifying glass here, which brings up the search bar. Let's say, for example, I wanna find where I said the word subtitles. I'll type that and press enter. Okay, I said subtitles 19 times, and DaVinci brings me right to the first time it was said. With it highlighted, I can use these arrows to jump through to the next time it was said, and the next time, and so on. You get the idea. I'm gonna close that search and click on the magnifying glass again to remove that search bar. We can go down here to the icon on the left to create a subclip. And this allows us to select sections of our transcript and make them a clip on their own. I already have a paragraph selected. Let's click on create a subclip and I'll name it one, press create. And now we have just that part of our dialogue within its own subclip here. Making subclips like this could be useful if you just want little quick sound bites for social media or something like that. Another thing you can do is text-based editing. So you can select certain parts of your transcript and then on the bottom right here, choose insert and that chunk of your dialogue will then be brought onto the timeline. One thing I wish you could do was highlight a certain part of your talking head that you know you don't want in the video and then delete it. I feel like that would make text-based editing way faster because I could literally like just look and go, okay, I know this part was a mistake here, I want it gone. And it'd be awesome to see that part of my clip just removed and an edit point made in my clip. But yeah, it does not look like we can do that so far. I know this is still the beta version, so hopefully they make that aspect of this a little more intuitive, that'd be awesome. And if you wanna export your transcript, super easy to do, go up here to the export icon, click on it, decide where you wanna save it, name it what you'd like and press save. And here's our transcript. And there you go. That's how to create transcripts in Resolve. Thanks for checking this video out. If you like the music you hear in this video or you wanna know any of the gear that we recommend, check out the description below. And we release weekly videos all about videography, editing, as well as gear reviews. So subscribe to stay in the loop. I hope you have an awesome day and I hope to see you in another video.